So Jordan Peterson says that women wear makeup and high heels in the workplace in order to increase and display their sexual marketplace value. I would argue that men do this as well. In fact, Jordan Peterson himself has been displaying his sexual prowess in videos and on stage this entire time. I posed this to a group of men and got instantly shut down. They had knee-jerk reactions. There is a Jordan Peterson video that has been giving people aneurysms around the world. It talks about sex harassment of women in the workplace and how when women wear makeup it is intended to give a sexual indication. So for example when a woman wears blush on her cheeks it's meant to give the look of blood flow increasing due to sexual arousal. Or how when women who are not five foot ten wear high heels that's meant to accentuate their body in a sensual way, the purpose of which is to look more sexy. The interviewer asks him, so are you saying that women who complain about sexual harassment in the workplace but also wear makeup and high heels are being hypocritical? And he's like, yes, I do. I feel like that was the triggering that was heard around the globe. Now, as I'm sure you can understand, the majority of people heard this and lost their ever-loving minds over it. Um, however, you know, I have really enjoyed um, listening to the things he has to say over the years. And so um, anytime I hear something that, you know, I've never heard before, my first instinct is not to go, what does this say about me and how can I get angry about it? Like, I, I feel like most people are like that. I, I have that problem on my channel because, you know, I like to talk about my experience being raised by a single mom and you can just see the gears start, you know, people, the, the smoke starts coming out of their ears and they're like, what does this say about me? And how can I get angry about it? Myself, I really like to, anytime I come across a concept or something that I haven't considered or heard of before, Instead of instantly thinking, how can I be offended by this? I like to think, oh, this is interesting. I wonder if it could be true and I'm just not aware of it, right? Because I think we do a lot of things in our society as humans that we just kind of accept, but we're not really sure why we do it. And I honestly really thought about it. Like I asked myself like, when I apply this blush to my cheeks, am I trying to evoke the spirit of a baboon's butt to get a promotion? I remember when I first found makeup in high school, I was working in a store called Mariposa in West Edmonton Mall. It was an absolute nightmare. Let me know if you remember Mariposa. It was like the Costco of women's club wear clothes. One day on my break, I went to the body shop and I was just looking at things and one of the employees was like, let me put this tinted moisturizer on for you, right? You know, and of course they had one shade for a person with dark skin and I was like, you know what, sure, go ahead. So she put this on me, it was like just a tinted moisturizer, right? You can tell I've graduated beyond that considerably. <laughs> when I looked in the mirror, I felt so insecure about it I just felt like it looked like I had a mask on and I wanted to take it off. But one thing I have learned in life is that if I feel uncomfortable about something and it's not like going to hurt me, it's not illegal, I should sit with it for a while and see what happens and see what about it is making me uncomfortable. So I, th I thought, you know what, I'm going to trust this girl's judgment and I just left it and I went back to work. Well. There was one girl that worked there that was so classy and beautiful and stylish. I felt like she didn't fit in there at all. She came up to me and she was like looking at my face. And I said, like really self-consciously, I was like, what? And she goes, I'm not sure what it is, but you look different. And I was like, what do you mean different? She's like, I don't know, but you look different in a good way. Boom. For me, that was the moment when it kind of clicked in my mind that this was something I could use to my advantage. And I believe that life is difficult. It's difficult for everyone. And if you can figure out a privilege 
If you can find something that helps you stand out or gives you a leg up on the competition in this life, you should take it. And so here we are. That being said, it's not lost on me that the makeup that I wear is meant to make me look healthy, it makes you look youthful. Um, because blood, you know, rushing up to the skin, it makes it look like you have good circulation. But most people, they don't think about it that deeply, right? And yes, it does evoke the idea of sexual arousal. Look at one of the most popular selling blush shades of all time. It's from a brand called NARS and it was called Orgasm. Now this, this brings up a controversial thing I considered after watching this video. I posed this to a group of men and got instantly shut down. They had knee-jerk reactions. They immediately started to give some of the shallow excuses that women would might give about makeup, right? You talk to women about makeup, why do you wear makeup? They say, oh, it's because it makes me feel good, it looks nice. They don't think, well, evolutionarily speaking. So I'm gonna pose it to you guys today and you tell me what you think. So Jordan Peterson says that women wear makeup and high heels in the workplace in order to increase and display their sexual marketplace value. I would argue that men do this as well. In fact, Jordan Peterson himself has been displaying his sexual prowess in videos and on stage this entire time. Consider the necktie. I actually looked this up. I thought to myself, Surely someone has thought of this before. Surely someone else has said this online, but oh no, no. I thought, what is the purpose of a men's necktie? Is it comfortable? Is it functional? Does it keep a man warm? It's a piece of clothing. What's the purpose of it? Originally, a necktie for men was a piece of clothing that mercenaries in the 17th century in France would wear in order to um, keep their jackets closed, right? It had a function and then eventually it kind of became a style and then it evolved what you see today. But I would argue that a man's necktie, as it's evolved to in present day, is a phallic symbol worn down their chest that points at their crotch. Does it get more obvious than that? We also thought about this from a biological perspective. So I did a little bit of research and discovered that in primate societies where the male is assigned a harem like with gorillas, they've developed a very small male genitalia. They don't have uh, any competition because they're, they've got these ladies, they got a bunch of them, and they don't have to have larger genitalia to contain larger amounts of sperm in order to make it more likely that their sperm will be the one that wins the race, right? Because there are certain uh, primate societies where the women have more sexual choice, they can mate with multiple partners and whoever has the best or the most amount of sperm is gonna win. So genitalia size and the need to proclaim and show off and make sure people know that one has a large genitalia really only evolved in humans. And uh, human males proportionately have the largest um, among the primates. So because men had to compete for women, their bodies evolved to impress women. Their bodies evolved for things that please and attract women. And now men don't go around with things swinging out in public they just wear ties to allude to it subconsciously, especially in the workplace. I mean, now I'm like thinking about everything in a paranoid way. Like, why did I curl my hair today? Is it to make people think about being in bed? To make them ultimately think about having sex with me so I'll get a promotion? So yes, these are the things that I like to talk about on my channel. I don't take things at face value. If this sounds good to you, remember to subscribe and hit notifications because some YouTuber with purple hair and Buddy Holly glasses is probably watching this right now and getting ready to unsubscribe a whole bunch of you. Remember to click the like button, check out some of my other videos. That's it for today. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.